very simple, easy way to get a wig on and to make sure that it's in the right positioning. Firstly, I turn the wig completely inside out so we can see where the front and where the back is. The front is usually always the monofilament piece that you can see through to your scalp and it looks as if the hair is growing from your head. The back is always the label. So what you want to do first is to place the front onto your forehead and then with your other hand pull the wig on. Now they're very very resilient so you can really give it a good pull on so it comes right down to the nape at the back of your neck. Now always when you first put the wig on it always looks as if it's all over the place but what we want to do is to make the adjustments to sit it exactly where your own hairline would be. So a good idea is one, two, three, four fingers back from the tops of your eyebrows. That's usually a good guideline for where your own hair hairline will start. Lovely. There's nothing worse than a wig being sat too far forward to draw attention at the sides. You have little metal pieces that you bend just to sit nice and flush to your scalp and they should both be parallel so the hair will lie in exactly the same length at the sides. Then give the wig a good brush through, don't be afraid to give it a good brush and afterwards what you do is you break up the texture off the hair with your own fingers and that just gives it a little bit of depth and a little bit of uncontrivedness that it doesn't look too conformed and a really good tip as well is play, play with the hair make sure you, if you would wear your own hair behind your ears that you can just tuck little bits behind your ears wear your earrings if you have sunglasses perch your sunglasses in behind your ears and it just adds that naturality that you, you're going about your business doing exactly what you would be doing normally with your own hair.